help with finding the quotient of the geometry series. Let's have a look. Here we have the limit as n goes to infinity of square root of 2 times the fourth root of 2 times the eighth root of 2 times dot dot dot. And this is the 2nth root of 2. Where is the geometry series, right? Well, the key to do this is that let's change all the radical forms to exponential forms. So this will be the limit as n goes to infinity. For the square root, technically there's a 2, so we can write this as 2 to the 1 over 2 power. And then for the next one, here we have the fourth root of 2. And this right here is the same as 2 raised to the 1 over 4th power. And then so on, so on, so on. The next one, this right here is the 8th root of 2. So this is 2 to the 1 over 8. And then dot dot dot, right, multiplying. And the last one, we have 2. And then this right here is the 2 to the nth power root. So this becomes 1 over 2 to the nth power. And now what? Notice they are all multiplying. We can add the exponents together. So this right here becomes the limit as n goes to infinity. And we just have to write down the 2 one time. But then all the exponents, we just add them up. So we will have parentheses. The first exponent is 1 half. The next one is 1 over 4. And the next one is 1 over 8. And then the next one is 1 over 16. And so on, so on, so on. Lastly, we just have to add this, which is 1 over 2 to the nth power. Now, this right here is a geometry series, and as n goes to infinity, this right here does converge because the common ratio is 1 half. So let me just write this down real quick. 1 half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus dot dot dot. If you just keep on going forever, notice the common ratio is just 1 half. So r is equal to 1 half. The absolute value of r is less than 1. So this right here will converge, and it will converge to the first term, which is 1 half, over 1 minus the common ratio, which is also 1 half. And then if you work this out, this is just 1 half on the top, over 1 minus 1 half, it's 1 half. So 1 half over 1 half, we have 1. So all in all, this right here, as n goes to infinity, this whole thing will converge to 1. So we get 2 to the first power, and of course, the answer for this is 2. And we're done.